The world of the heroes of this movie is centered on daily routine, but everything changes with the arrival of their mutual acquaintance. The man awakens in his friend's wife memories of their vivid past and forbidden desires. The couple brings these fantasies to life when the heroine's husband goes on a business trip. But this is not enough for her. A woman decides not to hide her attraction to another man and does it in front of her husband. With you, Mr. Narrator, let's look at how the priest reacted to his wife's activity. The movie begins with Ellie relaxing under an apple tree. After getting a release, the woman plucks a ripe apple for a snack. She goes out to lunch with her husband Micah. Over the meal, they discuss upcoming grocery shopping. In bed that evening, the man shows Ellie the depth of his feelings. In the morning, the woman releases a fly, accidentally caught in a trap. Ellie examines herself in the mirror. Mika compliments his beloved. The couple sits down to breakfast. A man reports that he has invited his buddy Olavi to visit. When the husband leaves for the mainland, the heroine is engaged in cleaning and collects a bouquet of wildflowers. At night, Ellie cannot sleep. The priest went to meet an old friend. Olavi met a friend on the ferry. The woman invited him to visit. In the parking lot he met Mika. The men drove to the priest's house, discussing plans for the summer on the way. Ellie saw the men from the window. She went out to meet them on the front porch of the house. It turns out that Olavi knows the woman's parents and has even been to their house. The heroine remembers him, despite the fact that 15 years have passed. The priest and his friend were inspecting the garden. Ellie went into the house she could not bear to see Olavi. At dinner, the friend asks Olavi about his personal life. He advises him to get closer to Liana. When Mika withdrew, the guest began to ask the heroine about her father. The man was close to him. Ellie's husband found an old photograph and showed it to Olavi. When it got dark, everyone went to bed. The guest watched the friend's wife. During the night, Ellie woke up to strange sounds. The next day, the men went swimming. They discussed Olavi's affair with a married woman. The priest shares his experience of married life with his friend. At home, he puts on a vinyl record for Olavi. Mika suggests Ellie to dance. The boys have fun. Early in the morning, Ellie wakes up to go swimming. She is stressed by Olavi's presence in their house. The husband promises that the friend will leave soon and hurries to work. The guest heard that the priest was leaving and went to the window. Ellie was hanging laundry. The man watched her. Later, Ellie was preparing dinner. Olavi went into the kitchen to chat with an old acquaintance. After a while, the woman was cleaning a chair. The guest suggested that she go for a walk. The couple goes to the coast. Olavi tells the heroine about his work. The guys see cows that graze nearby and go to spend time with the animals. On the way home, they are met by Mika. The man tells about the fact that he invited Liana to visit. Olavi prepares dinner for his friends. The mashed potatoes that the man prepared turned out to be oversalted. The friends laugh at Olavi's culinary skills. Before going to bed, Ellie takes care of her face. Mika approaches his wife to get some attention from her. The couple is having an active time in their bedroom. Olavi drinks tea and listens to the sounds coming from the friend's bedroom. The next day, Ellie goes swimming again early in the morning. Upon returning home, she sees Olavi. The man is enjoying the silence and making notes in his notebook. Ellie suggests that her friend listen to her husband's sermon in church. After Mass, Mika says goodbye to his wife. He needs to leave for a few days. Ellie talks to Lena outside the church. Olavi accompanies his friend to the car. The priest thinks Lena would be a good fit for his friend. They discuss things while the man walks Mika to his car. The friend says he will leave his wife in Olavi's care. The man returns to the women. The friends agree to meet later. On the way home, Olavi asks Ellie about the girl. They talk about the relationship and smile a lot. Olavi tries to attract the friend's attention with his jokes. The hero believes that it is best to find rationality and love in one person. After the walk, Ellie goes to the kitchen. The woman feels thirsty. She suggests that Olavi also drink a glass of water. The man takes an apple but doesn't mind drinking the water. He empties the two glasses in a volley and gulps down the apple. In the evening, the friends have a picnic by the lake. When it gets dark outside, they return to the house. The heroine relieves her tension after an active day by lying on the bed in her bedroom. She thinks about their walk with Olavi. After an early morning swim, Ellie examines a grasshopper. The friends go fishing. Olavi asks the woman if she is happily married to the priest. The heroine thinks she is happy. She tells him how she came to this conclusion. The man thinks that she and her friend have a lot in common. 
Back home, Olavi walks without knocking into the woman's bedroom. The friend says that his bedroom is right below theirs. He wants to get to know his friend's wife more intimately. Ellie agrees. As Olavi helps the woman relax guests from church arrive, the company listens to music and drinks wine. Later, the fun is transferred to the veranda outside the house. One of the guests asks the heroine to melt the sauna. Ellie cannot refuse him. Having finished heating the sauna, she meets Lena and Olavi at the sauna. The guys go for a steam bath and offer her to relax too. Ellie refuses. She doesn't like the fact that her ex has a crush on Lena. She hurries to the privacy of her bedroom. Later, Ellie watches friends relaxing in nature. Late at night, the guests, along with Olavi, leave. Ellie is left alone in the house. Olavi returns to his friend's house in the morning. Ellie decides to chop wood. The hero thinks that Mika's wife has taken offense at him, but Ellie doesn't confirm his hunch. She invites her friend to go swimming in the lake. The woman undresses in front of Olavi. He looks at her intently. Ellie waits for her friend to undress as well. She enters the water first. The couple swim in the cool water. Refreshed, Ellie returns to the shore. Olavi follows her. On the way home, the woman takes Olavi's hand. The heroine wants to spend time with her guest in the forest. When they stop, they hear loud music coming from Ellie's house. The woman's husband has returned home from a business trip to the mainland. Micah talks about the trip and the event he was at. The man has been doing a lot of thinking and socializing with the congregation. He shares worries about his purpose with his family. Mika is happy about the arrival of a friend. In the evening he spends an active time with his wife. Olavi peeks at them through the doorway. What the man sees makes him want to relax. After watching he goes to his room. Olavi hears his girlfriend moaning, enjoying the sounds and remembering Ellie's body. He releases the tension. In the morning Micah asks his friend about his plans. The man is unaware of the attraction his friend and wife feel. When the priest leaves for work, Ellie proposes to his friend to go for a walk. Olavi refuses. The man is offended. He wants to immerse himself in work. The heroine spends time in nature. At home, she is cooking dinner. The woman does not understand what has changed in their relationship with the guest. Suddenly, Ellie feels the need to release accumulated emotions. She goes upstairs to play the cello. The instrument is in Olavi's room, but it is not there. Immersing herself in the music, the woman relaxes. In the evening, she goes for a walk with her dog. On her way home, Ellie meets a friend. The man is acting strangely. He thinks he and Ellie are attracted to each other. He confesses that he is jealous of her and his friend. Before meeting Mika, Ellie and Olavi had a close relationship. The friend still has feelings for her. The woman tells Olavi about how she met her husband. She could not wait for Olavi for the rest of her life and decided to be happy with another man. Later, the woman thinks about their conversation with Olavi. To clear her mind, she decides to go for a swim. In the morning, she suggests to a friend to go for an outing. The couple go sailing on a boat. Ellie chooses a beautiful place for a picnic. They settle down in a clearing with a view of the lake. The heroine shows attention to the ex. The couple does it in nature. Ellie does not want to hurry. The friend helps the heroine to release tension. He also wants to get pleasure, but having received what she wanted, Ellie is going home. Mika meets them at home. Ellie goes to the bedroom to vent her emotions. The men chat on the veranda about Mika's life before his marriage to Ellie. The heroine tidies herself up and goes downstairs. Mika goes to prepare the grill for the meat. Olavi is angry about the attention Mika is paying to his wife. He wants to go to Helsinki. The priest thinks that the friend should stay. After dinner, Mika wants to spend time with his wife. His insistence annoys the woman. Ellie snaps at her husband. She is tired of Mika's attention. Ellie goes for a swim to recover. Later, she looks up at the night sky and thinks about her life. She feels attracted to her ex-boyfriend. Back home, the heroine catches her husband in the bedroom. He is waiting for her to talk to her. Ellie apologizes to him and goes to Olavi's bedroom. The man is awake. The couple starts kissing. Mika hears the ceiling cracking from the active rest of his wife and friend. Olavi gets to know Ellie better. The couple reminisces about the past all night. Together they fall asleep until morning. When the sounds in the friend's room quiet down, Mika goes downstairs. The doors are open. The priest looks at the couple in bed. In the morning, Ellie freshens up in the kitchen. She returns to her husband's bedroom. Mika is awake. The heroine lies down on the bed next to him. Mika stares at the ceiling. 
Ellie asks the man for forgiveness again. The priest says he understands his wife's act. Later, he cuts the branches of the trees in the garden. Olavi approaches his friend to tell him of his departure. Mika suggests that he stay a few more days. The friend promises to come back later. Olavi asks the priest for forgiveness. At dinner Mika remembers how he and Olavi traveled. His monologue alarms his wife. The priest removes his shotgun from the wall. The man announces that he intends to hunt and travel more often. He points the muzzle of the gun at his friend's head and asks if he should pull the trigger. Everyone remains silent. Olavi is ready to pay for his deed. Mika wipes away a tear and suggests that they go duck hunting together. Later, they all get in the car to see their friend off at the ferry. Olavi wants Ellie to come back to him. He offers the heroine to go with him to the mainland, but the heroine stays with her husband. On the way home, the couple stops in the woods for Mika to hunt ducks. At night, they cuddle. The couple wants to mend their relationship after Olavi's departure. The next day, the couple talk about their relationship. Mika wants his wife to be free and happy with him. He has decided to accept her as she is. The priest wants their relationship to be sincere. Ellie says she is afraid to be honest with her husband. When he leaves for work, the woman enjoys nature. In the evening, they spend time together. Ellie gives their relationship another chance. After a while, the woman plays the cello at an open window. It is raining outside. She notices that Mika has arrived home. She goes downstairs. Mika is standing by the car. The heroine offers the man to go fishing. Mika agrees. The couple spends the evening with fishing rods on the boat. It was the movie The Wait from 2021. Could you understand the motives of a man who decides to cheat? Share your experience in the comments. See you in the next video.